Hey there friends, what's crackalackin'? My name is Rabbit, and welcome to episode number 22 of Let's Blindly Play Through Crusader of Senti on the Sega Genesis slash Sega Mega Drive. In our last episode, we came back to the Camellia Desert and tried to go in the direction where the cyclone was, but I actually didn't see any real cyclone inside Camellia Desert itself, but I think the effects of it were present because I couldn't find the animal village and it's possible that I just was fucking up and not remembering quite where it was but I'm 99% sure there was there was supposed to be like a set of stairs in that middle section where we first entered and there was just no way to go into that area anymore. So I'm guessing the animal village got blown away. Very, very sad. But what is even sadder is that we came to the temple and learned that there are some shenanigans going down with the humans that inhabit the inside of this area. And I am trying to help a dude by saving his daughter, and honestly, I'm trying to save everyone by stopping the bullshit going on, but we did, you know, I wouldn't say it was an accidental on-screen death. I was frustrated because we couldn't do a long leap over a section, and I told you guys when we parted ways at the end of episode 21, I was going to run back and see, maybe there's something I missed. Maybe I'm not supposed to be able to scale that giant pit in the middle of that room where I had died. And what do you know, after running through again and hugging every single wall and peeking in every nook and cranny possible, I did see that this is here in this room. And just so that you can see where I am, just to illustrate this for you so you know kind of where I came in, I just leapt over these platforms and we could go this way to stairs or we could come up this way and we saw this room we did come in here but i didn't do anything here and i think that was a mistake oh why do i have cecil on i want to have on marna monarchy aka pieces i was always like monarchy because i think i should be able to hit this whoops okay i'm pretty sure there we go that is what I need to do. So, bing, bang, boom. That is probably why we were running into some issues there um, with, oh goodness gracious. Woo, what do you know? There is an entryway here with another one of these invisible walls. But I'm guessing that is why I was running into all of that bullshit with, oh my goodness, I guess I need to use monarchy again with that pit because it seems like I just wasn't supposed to be able to go that way. I'm guessing anyway, I'm guessing. But let's see, oh, I think that's his daughter that we were asked to save. So I will be making something happen out of that. Woo. And there is a money bag. I actually lost the other one because we did die, but fortunately I try to go in and out of areas and save every time we end an episode so fortunately for me I have been doing that although there wasn't that big of a gap between our videos so it wouldn't have been the end of the world if I hadn't saved okay pieces I need you to do your shit for me there we go all right perfect and can I get to the daughter I'm not seeing Ooh, baby I don't know about this you guys know the blind leap of faith. Okay, I was able to get this one. I don't know, that looks like that's about the length that the pit was, but it it wasn't working in my favor, just to put it out there. Please tell me I didn't come all this way just for treasure. I'm gonna be very upset if that is what just happened here because I'm not seeing more stairs I am supposed to leap across that pit. Motherfucker. Oh, no, no, no. That's very uncool. Very uncool. Oh, Jesus. Because I, there's not a way. There is not a way that I can see unless, I don't think I can get down there. I have to come up through that and then maybe put the armadillo down there. I don't know. You guys, this is, this is a little wild, to be honest. Cause I'm trying to make sure there's not something that I'm just 
overlooking, because I don't want to have to run fucking back here again. But I, I guess I did everything I can do. And we just have to leave it at that. All right, well, give me a second. I will pause the camera, and I will just meet you guys back at that fucking pit of bullshit. Oh, my God. There's got to be something else. Well, you guys already know the drill. Like I said, at the end of 21, I will continue to hug walls and see if there's something else I missed. So give me just a second. All right, y'all. Welcome back. We're here at this perilous pit of bullshit, and I... I'm still unsure what the hell we need to do here. I looked everywhere for everything, and short of a plank, I don't understand. Maybe? Okay, I'm going to try something. Can I pick him up? Oh, he kind of hovers. Okay. Maybe this is what I needed to do. Please tell me. No, I need you to go a little further. I'm gonna just jump and throw him and jump on him. Okay. I'm like fucking up left and right. But at least this seems like it's very possible that this is what I was supposed to do from the beginning. So you're there. I'm gonna jump on your ass. Oh, thank God. So that's what I was supposed to do. That only took me way too fucking long to figure out. But you know, I always say, Better late than never. Oh! Oh my god. Okay. You cannot stay on me, Flash. I'm so sorry. I cannot die like this. Not like this! What is down that way? Oh god! I didn't realize the longer you stepped on them that spikes came up. I thought it was based on the number of times that you... Oh, okay. So maybe I can just throw him over there? Oh my gosh. Who would have thought... You might be amazing, sir. You might be amazing. I wonder then, could I have thrown him over something else? I wonder, actually, if I can throw Rio over that metal thing that's at Hot Daisy or Burn Daisy or whatever. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Ideas. Ideas. My mind is churning. All right. This must be the girl. And she says, you came to save me. Then my father must be nearby too. I've been waiting so long. I was starting to wonder if he'd forgotten about me. He told me not to move, but I'm going now. Okay, let's get out of here. What is this? Oh, this is what I was... All right, it is a pole. That's what I thought. Or some sort of line that we're supposed to scale down. Oh, thank God. So Nike opened the treasure chest and found awakening powder inside. Woohoo! That is what I'm talking about. So I'm guessing I should be able to open that door to the far left now. What do y'all have to say? Anything new? Awakening powder. So same shit as before. How did she get awakening powder? I don't know if I want to proceed without going back and getting my apples back, you guys. Is that shameful? I mean, yeah, they're all saying the same thing, by the way. That's the only reason I am not reading everything. Shut up, monster, blah, blah, blah. You guys are bugging. Get a life. Let's just check our inventory, and we do have that little blue bag there right beside the magic shoes to indicate that we have awakening powder. So, that is good. And this door is open. You know what I am going to do? This is lame as fuck, but we're doing it anyway. I'm going to replenish my apples. As you could see, because I had saved, I have my kitty cat back, which is fabuloso. So I'm not afraid necessarily of dying, but I don't want to unnecessarily. So I'm just going to head on back if I can get my shit together. Flash just makes everything so much harder. Harder and easier, I guess, at the same time. It's nice that you can kind of blast on past. But okay, this is what I was talking about when I said this was fucking with me, but I am 99% sure down there was where the animal village was. And it's just inaccessible now for some reason. I don't know why. But that's none of my business, at least not right now. I got Dippy, and that's what I care about. So hold on, we will come right on back. But while we're actually met, hold on. There's three ways of going in. Should I have technic, oh no, there's not. Okay, this is just letting me flow on this way. We're gonna go grab a bunch of apples. The easy peasy way. Y'all already know what my easy peasy way is. Maybe there's like a way that's a little more, oh my God. 
efficient, not necessarily more effective than doing this, but I get four in one go, and it's right here at the entryway. I'm not ashamed that I'm coming back to Anemone Beach for apples, and you guys shouldn't be ashamed either. You just gotta, okay, I don't know why I always want to hit my D-pad when I I'm running across the world map, but I think this works. I don't know. It works for me. Maybe it doesn't work for you, <laughs> but I, you know, got to do what I got to do so that I'm not just dying left and right. Just maybe left, but not left and right. Okay, I think this was it. Well, we're going to use this. This will work. We'll immediately run in. It wasn't too hard to find that spot. I don't know why I hadn't thought until just now to fucking throw Rio. I mean, it's like I said, the game really makes you kind of think about how you've utilized other mechanics. Oh my God. And apply that knowledge in new situations. I think it could do a little bit better of a job of providing hints sometimes, but you know, whatever. We figure it out eventually, for better or for worse. Okay, can I throw him over there? That did not do anything. Do I need to get him on something? I don't understand. He's not pressing the... That might not even be a switch. Maybe... Because I was going to say, perhaps I could... Use him to jump... No. Can you... Please, Rio, I'm begging you. I don't know like what else I could do with this. I can't jump over. I don't think I can use Dippy to cross this. It's like a, it's clearly above and I should be able to, unless I can jump on him over it. Do you guys see what I was thinking? Like maybe there's not a, a button either. That is gonna drive me absolutely insane. Why? What is this? And I bet he's gonna give me something if I can just figure out what I need to do, but sadly, I cannot figure it out. All right, I'm gonna try throwing you. That was not throwing you. Oh, and that doesn't work under these circumstances. Okay, well, I tried. Nobody can say that I didn't. I through his ass. I came back here twice, you guys, to get to the bottom of this bullshit, and it was all for naught. Oh, come on. I landed on that game. Quit playing. But I am feeling so much so that I need more apples, because this is really making me sweat it a bit. But all right, we did what we could do. Let's head back to the Camellia Temple. I think that's what it's called, maybe not, but that's what I'm gonna call it. So keep up, y'all, keep up. But let's run on back. We've got max apples. We've got our kitty cat, so technically we've got double the max, which is always terrific. It makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Like I'm not so much so on the struggle bus, even though I think we can all agree that I pretty much perpetually live on the struggle bus. But all right, let's move. What is this? A boss fight? It's a chameleon. Oh, and his name is genuinely Chameleon. Okay, no surprises in creativity here. That's right, everything is my doing. He, he, he. That powder woke me up too. For your reward, I'm going to eat you. You ain't eating shit. Please get alive. How do I hit him though? Woo! Okay, I gotta think this one through. How do I fucking, did I hit him at all? Spit me out, douchebag. Oh, okay, that's all I need to do. I don't need Rio then. I think I should be fine to just, woo! That didn't work. No, don't touch me. So much for my perfect score that I had gotten with uh, whatever its name was, Maldra, Madra. No, no, keep it to yourself. Oh, Jesus. They kind of run off screen, though, so that's really nice. Oh, I fucked that up. Woo! No! Get away! Woo! 
Okay, this fight actually isn't that bad. I think it's just about... No! It's about focus. Ha, oh, he's dead. Urgh, am I dying? But human, you are the foolish one. You forgot how to believe. Even if you defeat me, you cannot fix the real problem. You cannot fix other people's hearts. Damn, that is some real shit from this chameleon, you guys. I wasn't ready for that, but hallelujah, Nyx. Maximum HP increased. Whoop, 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 whoop. That is an extra apple for me. What is this? A chicken? Nyak used the awakening powder. Moa. I am Moa, a legendary bird. I've spent a long time inside the painting. Oh, it was a painting? Weird. Do not leave just yet. I want you to tell people the truth about the monsters. If you can clear the misunderstandings, they may start believing each other. Now, let's go. So Moa joins the group. Woohoo! What the hell does Moa do, though? Oh, so I can't go in there now. But I still have the powder. That's weird. So Moa says, I shall strengthen the abilities of the other animals? What? Let's just, let's just try it. Strengthen abilities. Make swing times three? <gasps> oh my gosh. What about speed? Makes walking speed three times? Oh, oh, hell no. Hey, I saw you open that room. Don't lie, I saw you. You're a stranger here, so there's no need for a trial. You're going to prison. God damn it, I just helped y'all. Well, I'm looking at all this shit anyway, so fuck you. So let's see what Mac does with Moa. Strengthen the touch. This strengthens the flame, strengthen ice magic. No combo effect, which makes sense. No combo effect. Cecil, continue to rebound, so maybe it ricochets multiple times. Continue to operate, maybe there's a, a level of increased manipulation. No combo effect, and then I'm not using either of these. That is crazy. So Moa strengthens abilities. Wild. Oh, look how fast I'm fucking slicing, y'all. Oh my goodness. Holy crap, that's insane. All right, let's talk to this person. You're the one who saved me on the sixth floor one day. What? I really want to thank you. No one believes me. They say I'm a monster because I returned from the sixth floor. I'm afraid I don't have much time left. Oh, this is the girl. And this palace. Please leave here quickly. Oh, that? The girl does not move. Apparently, she's already dead. <gasps> her dad was waiting for her, though. That's fucked up. So she came down, and then they just threw her in prison after she had already been locked away? That's nuts. Well, anyway, y'all, we'll go ahead and just part ways here. We'll see what we need to do to get out of here when we resume in episode number 23. So I know we've had two episodes that have ended a little bit early, but, you know, that'll kind of balance out those longer episodes that we have had scattered intermittently in our recording session. So anyway, take care, be good, my friends, and I, your host, Rabbit, look forward to seeing you in just a moment in episode number 23, wherein we will kickstart everything by running back around the room, um, trying to figure out what do we need to do, where do we need to go. Oh my god, this is so creepy that there are just corpses here. These people are fucked up. We're gonna have to deal, I think, a couple of ass whoopings, but we will tackle that when we return. So I will see you guys in just a moment in our upcoming episode of Let's Blindly Play Through Crusader of Senti. See you guys soon. <laughs>